Fungal infections of the skin, hair and nails are common and it's important to identify them accurately so they can be treated appropriately. Superficial fungal infections can only be diagnosed confidently after analysis of skin specimens taken for mycology. Firstly, specimens can be examined under the microscope after treating them with a solution of potassium hydroxide to identify the presence of a fungus. This can be performed both as a bedside procedure in clinic or in a laboratory and it takes about 20 minutes. And this is what we may see down the microscope. This is a potassium hydroxide treated specimen and the fungal hyphae uh, can be seen uh, in the uh, image. The precise species of fungus causing the infection can be clarified either by culture of the skin specimens or by performing PCR. Culture can take up to three weeks and the appearance of the culture colonies and the effect that it has on the culture medium are used to identify the precise species. The reason that species identification is important is that it allows us to determine whether the fungus has been acquired either from another human or whether it's been acquired from an animal. The precise species of fungus grown is sometimes highly specific to the animal host. So it's possible to say the infection has been acquired from a cat or a dog, a cow, a mouse or a hedgehog for example. It's important to take mycology specimens prior to initiating any antifungal treatment, either topical or oral. It's simple, quick and inexpensive. For most areas of the skin, scale can be removed, ideally from the active edge of a suspect infection, using a clean, sharp blade. Because it's easily available, a number 15 scalpel blade is usually used, but surgical sharpness is not necessary and any clinically clean blade will suffice. Gently scraping the edge of the lesion produces scale, which then can be transferred onto a piece of paper and sent to the laboratory. It's useful to have black paper available as this allows the lab to identify the scale easily but it's more important to take the specimens and put it on white paper than not to take any specimens at all. The more scale that being collected, then the better is the diagnostic accuracy and yield. Nail specimens can be obtained using nail clippers. The crumbly subungal debris offers a good diagnostic yield, particularly if it's taken as proximally as possible. Mm -hmm. Gently scraping underneath the nail with the curved end of a nail file can most readily retrieve this material. Again, the debris and nail plate can be sent off for both microscopy and culture. Mycology specimens of the scalp and hair can be taken in a number of ways. If the scalp is scaly, exactly the same process as is used for skin elsewhere can be used, using a scalpel to produce the scale. If the affected areas show short, infected hairs, these can be removed by pulling them out using a pair of forceps. To improve the grip, it can be helpful to apply small plastic bands around the jaws of the forceps, which improves their purchase. Finally, the affected area of the scalp can be rubbed vigorously with either a special disposable brush or even a new sterile toothbrush. The brush can then be sent off to the lab where it can be directly implanted into the culture uh, medium plates. I hope that you found this video useful and it will encourage you to take specimens from patients who you suspect have got fungal infections.